Hey guys, Garrett here from iOS Pro today. I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows 10 on your Mac today. So let's get started. Before I get started, I just want to say that if you guys have any questions about this video, you can leave them in the comments below. And I am willing to answer you guys' questions and repeat my answers regardless if I've already said it in the video. It's just more polite and considerate that way. That's all. All right, so now, in order to install Windows 10 on your Mac, first you'll need a MacBook Pro or an iMac or MacBook Air from this list right here. See, if you have anything earlier than these models, then you'll need a USB drive. So this video is for Macs that do not require a USB drive to install. That's all. So if you guys need to pause the video, you guys can to look at this list to see what you guys have. So if I go up to the top of my Mac right here with the Apple logo, you guys can see I have an Intel-based quad-core Mac, which mine is compatible because I have got this in 2019. So if you guys have a, a newer Mac, it will require a little bit of a different method. So I'm only covering the Intel-based Macs today. So now go to Safari and go to this website right here. I have the link in the description below. It says download Windows 10 disk image ISO file. So basically this is the install page for the Windows 10 before you do it. That's how you install Windows on your computer. All right, so first thing, go down here where it says Windows 10 2022 update version 22H2 select edition. So when you select your file, select Windows 10 multi-edition ISO like that. Let me reposition my camera so you guys can see this. All right, so once that's selected, then you hit confirm. Then it will say validating request. Now we got to select our language which will be English, United States, just like that. Now I'll hit confirm again. And now when it gets to here for the download links, click 64-bit download. And now I'll hit allow. And there we go. Now my Win Windows file is now downloading. It will take a while because it's at least six gigabytes. So I'll come back to you guys once it's done. So I'm back and as you guys can see, the file has finished downloading for the Windows ISO file. So now what you need to do is go down to your launch pad Go to other and launch this app called Bootcamp Assistant. This is what you'll need to install the Windows on your computer. So now what you do here, it hit continue. Now it's going to ask you if you want to resize your partition. See, but what I recommend, so if you have a 200 gigabyte MacBook Pro, then I would recommend going to 90 gigs. So if you have anything higher than that, then I would do half a terabyte, just to be safe. So now what I'm gonna do is select my file. See, when I go to downloads here, Windows 22 English ISO file. See, the one, now I'm gonna hit install. And now it's gonna download the Windows support software, just like this. So this can take at least 10 minutes. I'm back on my computer is now saving the installation software. And it says Bootcamp Windows Support Software Version 7071. Okay, so yep, there we go. See, when my computer is done doing that, the computer will now automatically restart and everything like that to the Windows page. So I'll come back when it shows the Windows icon. Yeah. Guys, so I'm back on my computer just restarted. And now instead of an Apple logo, we see a Windows icon. Just like that. And there we go. My computer is now running Windows. And now it says setup is starting. That's actually pretty cool that actually worked, which is totally normal. I have someone back and my computer is now running Windows, just like this. So now I'm at the setup screen. So now I'm going to hit next to continue. So if it says product key, if you don't have one, you can click down here. I don't have a product key. Click continue. And now select the operating system you want to install. So it's best to go with this one, Windows 10 Home. Then hit next. And now I have to accept the terms and conditions. Next. Now it's going to say installing Windows. Copying Windows file, getting ready, installing features and updates and finishing up. This is totally normal. So I'll come back when this is done. So I'm back and my computer just restarted because now it's going to install the Windows based software now. So it says just getting ready, starting services, just like that. Getting devices ready, 20%, 40 and so on. So once it's done, I'll come back. So I'm back on my MacBook Pro. I finally finished booting up. And as you guys can see, I'm now at the setup page. Like basic. So first of all, when you select our region, for me, it's the United States. 
hit yes. Now it's going to say just a moment. Is this the right keyboard layout? US, yes. You want to add a second keyboard layout. I'm going to skip for now. Now asking me if I want to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So let me go do it off camera now. Back and I successfully got my Wi-Fi connected. So I'm going to hit next. Now I have to say just a moment. Now we have some important setup to do. This is very important actually, because it's going to like accounts, create a password and all that. That's totally normal. I'm back and my computer is finished booting up. So now it's going to ask me to add my account, which I do have one from Microsoft. So I selected Microsoft here. So I'm going to do it off camera now. I'm back and now my MacBook Pro is now asking me to create a setup pin for Windows. So basically this pin is used in place of passwords. Having a pin makes it easier to sign into your device, apps and services. So let me go and do it off camera now. I'm back and I got my pin now created. So now what I'm going to do is choose the privacy setting. So location, I'm going to turn that off just for safety reasons. Turn this off for tailored experiences just to be safe. Safe for advertising, I do not want that. Okay, so now those three turn off, I'm going to leave the other ones on. So now I'm going to hit accept. Now it's saying just a moment. Now it says let's customize your experience. Select all the ways you plan to use the device and all that. So what I'm going to do is select entertainment, gaming, and creativity. That's all I'm going to do this for. Hit accept. Use your Android phone from your PC. But I'm not going to do that because I don't have Android. I've used Android in the past many times. But I'm not going to do that. So I'm hit no thanks at the bottom left hand corner. Now, so just a moment. Going back and the process has finished. Now it's saying, let Cortana help you get things done. So I'm going to hit not now. It's like an assistant, like Siri, but a little different. All right, there we go. Now the process has finished. Now the setup process is now done. Now it says we're getting everything ready for you. Well, this is totally normal as well. Basically, they're now processing everything I put into like setup. That's basically what they're doing. So I'll come back when this is done. Okay guys, so I'm back and I successfully installed and set up Windows 10 on my MacBook Pro just like this. But if you guys are doing this for the first time, it will ask you to install the Boot Camp Assistant for Windows. But since I'm only doing this for like fun and testing and not for actual daily use, I'm not going to do that. But for you guys, if you guys are using this for like daily life, I would recommend it. And, my, and this is my first time using Windows 10. Only my dad uses Windows 10 and newer. My mom and I use mac os permanently for our lives so this is my first time doing this i've used windows xp back when i was three in the year 2004 and i've used windows 98 when i was eight years old in 2009 so it's been quite a while since i used a windows computer and then guys can see i have microsoft edge rather than safari which is really cool i love the windows 10 first time using it but it was very easy to set up but to be honest comparing it to the mac os setup process to windows I can't confirm, Mac OS setup is definitely faster at setting up the Windows. Windows takes like a couple, up to an hour to set up. Mac OS takes only a few minutes. That's why I like Mac OS better than Windows, but still, both are pretty great operating systems. All right, so now you guys are wondering, how do I revert back to Mac OS without losing data? So all you gotta do is go down to the start menu, go to power option, hit restart. So once this computer powers down, then you'll hold down the option key. That's how you switch between the different disk drives. So I'm going to wait for it to power down. Now I'm not going to cut this portion of the video, okay? Now hold down the option key like this once it turns off. See, now that spinning wheel means it's going to lie and switch between disk drives. Just like this. So I'm going to hit this one, Mac OS. So if you have multiple drives, make sure you select the right one. So I'm going to hit return. And there we go. Now my computer is going to boot up into Mac OS just like this. So this is going to take a few seconds here for it to boot up fully. Okay, there we go. And just like that, I'm back in a Mac OS. So let me go and enter my password off camera. And I'll come back when I'm done. I'm back and as you guys can see, I successfully booted back into Mac OS. So all my data is still here and everything. So when I go to settings, go to general, go to storage, you guys see I still have all my data still here, which is great. So now if you want to go back to Windows, all you have to do is power down your Mac, like this, hold the option key, then press and hold the power button again. So this takes a few seconds here. Just keep doing, just keep pressing power button until it boots up while holding an option. Sometimes it can be a little sticky. Okay, there we go. 
So once you do that, then it will allow you to select between Windows and Mac OS. I'll select Windows again. And now I'm back into Windows, booting up into Windows, just like this. So this does take a few seconds, though, for it to boot up. So I'm not going to cut this portion of the video. I want you guys to see how long it really takes. So setting up is the slow part. Getting into the OS again is the fast part. And there we go. We're now on the Windows startup screen. So now I'm going to go and log in with my pin and I'll come back when I'm done. So I'm back and I successfully booted back into Windows 10 on my MacBook Pro. So you can basically switch between operating systems just like that. So in case you guys missed it, you just go to the start menu. Go to restart. So as soon as the computer powers down, then hold the option before it boots back up. That's how you switch between operating systems. Pretty cool. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Peace out.